hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create email template in odoo version 15 and in case you missed previous discussion about how to send email from the backend side please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the web links channel under the playlist you can see odoo development and here different types of playlist available with different topics with the real task cases and if you need any support related Odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow that repository we also have a different social media pages make sure to follow those pages to get the latest notification in case you want to support this channel using many ways buy me coffee paypal or using this join button so let's back to our main topic like how you can create email template in version 15. So here we are trying to create here a small module for the email template all right. Let me paste here wb email template and here let's change this email template and we are trying to remove this data file and our manifest file is complete let me rename this one this report instead of we can use here data and here i'm trying to rename this file also like email template let me copy this name and i will try to paste here under this data right and let me close this manifest file and this file also sorry not this file and i will try to remove all the code Alright, so we have the XML encoding the first line. This should be the compulsory, and this is our Odoo tag, the root tag, right? And in between, we are trying to create a new email template. So, for that, we can use here ID model field name. So, here we are trying to add email template right so we have to use here that specific model name so that name is mail.template and here i will use student email template and here i will try to add some basic fields which we need to compulsory add and which is required also so the first thing is the name another is the model underscore id then after subject name of this email then after like let's say email from then after email to or let's say if you have a partner right so you can also use here partners and finally this is the body part like let's say this email this name field which is character field and any name you can add here right so for that like i will use here student email template so here what we have to add here is the model name so for that we can use here the ref let me close here the single uh, single field tag and here what i will use is the student profile so for that like i will go to upper side and you can see i will try to copy this one and i will pass here instead this dot i will try to use here underscore and prefix should be the model underscore like this and if this model created under the same module right here then we don't need to add any prefix name but let's say if you want to add outside of this modules model name right so compulsory we have to use that module name so in this case we have to use school underscore student 
and subject name should be anything right this is email subject name let's say i will try to send you one email right so on that subject i will add one subject right so that subject we have to pass here so for that like right now i will use here student notification all right and now let's say we have a two things right email from and email to so here we have to use here the dynamic data uh, from which uh, field you want to add the emails right so for here i will try to use here like let's say double slash uh, double curly bracket here like this and simple i will try to add like object dot like let's say create underscore uid then after dot and here i will use underscore format tag all right or let's say if it is blank right so i will try to add as a blank like this now we have to also provide the two right so here i will try to add the same thing like object dot then after oh sorry object dot here i will try to let's say school underscore id dot email or let's say i will add as a blank here and the partner so what is the purpose of this partner underscore two let's say email is blank right here or you want to add automatically email underscore two we don't need to use this part we can also use from the selected partner so for that you can also use something like this object dot uh, let's say in this case we can use here write underscore uid dot partner underscore id dot id or by default it's false like this so let me activate this part also okay and here i will try to add here some dynamic data so let's say dear student this is thank you all right so i'm just trying to add like this content as a static content in our next session i will try to add here dynamic content okay so don't worry about this one we are just trying to learn how you can create a simple email template here for the learning purpose all right and now i will try to restart the service you can see I will try to go to in apps update module list and I will try to search that module name so you can see WB email template I will try to install this module so without any issue it's already installed this module right and now what i will do is i'm going into the settings in technical and here you can scroll down little bit you can see this email and here you can see this email templates so list of email templates available here total is 12 different email template is available here and from this one we already created a one student notification uh, let's say this template right so you can see here let me add it so in this color you can see the background color is like this right so those are the required fields as you already know right so this name field the model name right these two things are very compulsory but let's say for the subject this is the email body part right the email configuration we used here like from to and then after if we have a partners so we can use this one in advanced settings 
and this default value and other fields is also available so what it is we will learn one by one right so let me discard this one and if you want to see how exactly look like our email right so you can preview to click this one and you can see a list of records available for the specific model right so if i will select this ramu right you can see here automatically it will update this two why because we used here two as a dynamic value all right school underscore id dot email and let's say if i will choose another one jethalal you can see it will automatically update this one so like this way you can create a simple email template all right and our next session should be how you can create a dynamic data here using the qweb template engine all right if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session